it's Laura from Doggy U, and today we're going to be talking about using your camper van as an everyday driver. The pros, the cons, what I like about it, what I don't, so that you guys can decide if that's something that you'd like to do in the future. So before we get started, if you could go down to the bottom and click that like button so other people can find this video, I would super appreciate it. All right, so let's talk about what I drive right now for a camper van. I have a Ram Promaster 1500 136 wheelbase low roof. So it's a smaller camper van in the scheme of camper vans, but it's not a small vehicle at all. It's probably about the size of my truck um, that I had prior to having vans. So it's a relatively medium sized vehicle that I'm driving daily as my camper van. So one of the obvious things about driving your van as your daily driver in your camper van is the financial savings that you have. So prior to having just this one vehicle, we had three vehicles, two cars that we drove around to work and to dog training. And then we had the camper van that I used for longer trips and weekend camping. But that means it sat in the driveway a lot of the time, especially during the winter if I wasn't going south. It was just sitting around and I was paying for it. And I was paying out the nose for it because uh, it was registered under my business and insuring a cargo van for business is incredibly expensive. It was about $2,600 a year uh, to have that van insured. So it was really, really expensive. So what we ended up doing is we sold our really big camper van. We sold one of our older cars and my husband took my car and I took the van. Oh, my husband's the best. Um, so I bought the Ram Promester 1500 um, and now I use that as my daily driver and drive that all around Colorado but I also use it as a camper van so I can travel everywhere with it. So let's talk about some more pros of having the just one vehicle. I think one of the biggest pros is that I'm always ready for anything. So like around here, I love Trader Joe's, but I don't have one close to me. So if I'm out driving and I see a Trader Joe's and I can stop in and stock up, I can just go ahead and turn on my fridge freezer and that stuff can sit in there. Maybe if I have a client after that, my stuff can just sit in there all day and it's not going to defrost. So it's a good time saver in that respect and it keeps everything frozen and cool because I have that great fridge freezer in there. It also is great, like, because I go, I do client work and I am in between working jobs frequently and I may have, like, awkward periods of time, I might not want to drive all the way back to my house, so I can easily just hop in the back and take a nap, which I know is ridiculous, but sometimes you just need a good nap. So I love that aspect of it. Uh, if I want to eat lunch out, I grab some food um, and I can just pull it out of my fridge freezer. I don't have to have a lunchbox <laughs> or anything like that. And then I can pull out the table and sit comfortably and eat in the van. So it's just really practical for a lifestyle that involves periods of time that you otherwise would be wasting. You know, I can bring a book, sit in bed and read it while I'm waiting to go to my next client. Another reason it's great is for the dogs. The dogs are really comfortable in there. It's already like a second home. So when I leave them, I don't have to worry about anything. I know that it's insulated. I can turn the fan on. I know they're going to be climate controlled and comfortable, which isn't necessarily the case about your daily driver. If you have a car or sedan or something like that, um, the dogs are super comfortable. They get on the bed and they mostly look out the window and nap. So it's really conducive to having my dogs with me all the time and having them feel safe and comfortable. The final big thing about having your camper van as your everyday driver is being able to go at a moment's notice. I know I'm always packed for camping, so if something comes up and I just wanna go, I'm ready. Um, everything is pretty much stored in the van. All I need to do is grab my husband and the dogs and drive away and we're ready to go. There's not like transferring things between van, especially when you have dog stuff. I'm not transferring crates. I'm not, oh, I gotta get food in here. I always carry food for the dogs in the van. I have a little bit of food for ourselves. So no matter what, we're ready to just pick up and go at a moment's notice, which works out really well for our lifestyle. Now, of course, there's some cons to driving your camper van around full time. And the first one is size. My van is smaller as, as far as camper vans go, but it's still really big and it like fits in a parking spot. Yeah, it does. It fits in normal to large size parking spots. It does not fit into small parking spots. It's really hard to park in downtown. Um, it's, it's not easy and you have to have a lot more consideration for it. On top of that, my van with the fan is almost eight feet tall. 
which means I can't go in most garages. So if there's garage parking, sometimes they'll have eight, eight feet, four inches as their first level, but most of the time that's taken up by handicapped spaces or their own vehicles. So it's really hard if you're going downtown and you're gonna have to park way further away than those people that can fit in a garage. So it's always something to think about. And I'm always thinking about parking when I'm having to go into tighter spaces, which obviously isn't the case if you have a smaller compact car. That's also a problem for me if the dogs are in the car. I want to park as close to where I'm going to be as possible. I don't like leaving them far away. So sometimes we'll end up having to take my husband's car into downtown or make considerations around that so that we can park closer to an event. Um, so just one of the things that you need to think about when you're thinking about using your van full time. The other thing to think about money-wise is that you're spending money on a conversion. Now my conversion wasn't terribly expensive, but I still spent a decent amount of money on the conversion. And I guess I'm thinking about it in the way that you're eating up miles driving daily. So when you have two cars, you can drive your little car, get better gas mileage to work and around town and all that kind of thing that you don't need a camper van for. Um, so you're kind of eating up those miles that you're using and that you're going to want to use to drive cross country on a daily basis. So you kind of have to weigh that, the pros and cons for you in that respect over the lifetime of the vehicle. One of the things that I think is a pro and a con is it's just bigger to drive. So for me, I love sitting up high. I love that about the van. I can see everything. I feel big on the road and that's great, but it's also a little bit more challenging to drive. You can't make tight turns. You need to go slow and wide on all of your turns. So it's a little bit more of a consideration whenever you drive it. Another thing to think about before you get a cargo van as your personal vehicle is they are hard to insure. There's only certain companies that will insure a cargo van privately for you. So I use Progressive, but you have to shop around and see who's going to do that as a personal vehicle because a lot of places will only insure them to a business. The final thing about the vehicle being big is the getting in and out of it. And that's for me. Um, and when I have like my family getting in the car, everyone always remarks that getting into the van is hard <laughs> because it is really tall but it's also a concern for my dogs. So having dogs jumping in and out of high vehicles multiple times a day, which is what would happen with my dogs because um, it, they do come with me quite a bit, isn't good for their joints, especially onto pavement. So I have to carry my dogs in and out of the van. I do basically an assisted jump. I'll link, I have a video on that. I'll link it uh, below in the description, but basically I help them get out of the van every time, which is wear and tear on my body. Um, and it also can be wear and tear on their body if you're allowing them to jump in and out of this high vehicle all the time. So just something to think about when you're looking at a van. So those are pretty much all the cons that I see with the van. Now, what's lovely is that a lot of those cons can be mitigated by a smaller vehicle. So if you're thinking about doing a camper van as your regular vehicle, it's a really good idea to think about what can I do as a compact camper? So can I do a Nissan NV200, one of those smaller cargo vans as my everyday driver and my camper vehicle? It works out really well if it's mostly you camping and maybe one dog or two small dogs. It's way tighter in some of those smaller vehicles if you've got two people and two dogs, which is why we chose the bigger van. But if you're looking into this as something you wanna do, camper van, everyday driver combo, check out some of those smaller cargo vans because they work out really nicely. And there's a lot of companies that do a small kit, but honestly, you can just throw a cot in the back of them and you're good to go. Minivans are also another great option. You can uh, sleep light all the way down it, um, lots of space. The only thing is you gotta cover all those windows at night, which is kind of a pain. But those are some options that you can use as a camper van. If you're maybe not camping as much, you're not gonna live out of it you know, for two months at a time, but you do wanna be able to camp on the weekend so a small cargo van or a minivan might be a really good choice for you. All right, so that's all I have for you guys. I just want to talk a little bit about driving your camper van around every day. For me, I really enjoy it. I love the cost saving of only having the one car. I love being ready for anything and every amenity that it has in there for me, I find myself using it quite a bit and I love being able to stand in my van, um, you know, and get the dogs ready or change if I need to, you know, so all of those things work out really well for me, but just think about the cons as well when you're choosing to have your camper van as your daily driver. All right guys, so that's all I have to say about using your camper van as an everyday driver. I would so appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel. Hit that little bell so you get notified when we do new videos. We do new videos every single week. So definitely check those out. Leave a comment below. I answer all of my comments as long as they're not mean. And <laughs> I'd be happy to answer your questions about the van or using it as a daily driver or any questions you have about dog training as well. 
So you guys have an awesome day and happy travels.